guys so today I am bringing you my June TBR um, I've been in a bit of a reading slump for the past month in May I really didn't read that much actual like fiction has a pretty much all I read was like graphic novels and comics which is okay but like I felt a little bit like a failure as a booktuber because I really wasn't reading any like actual literature um so I was kind of trying to figure out why I was in such a book slump and I think part of it was is I was reading so many classics which is probably what a lot of you are here for and while I love classics sometimes I just need a break so this TBR is a bit of a like switch up of genres for me so the first book is one I am like halfway through already and that is Spinster by Kate Bullock um this is a non-fiction book it's been so long since I read non-fiction just for pleasure um this is I'm really enjoying this I'm like there with my little fox bookmark um about 150 pages through this looks at how single women are perceived by society and how they have been perceived by society I'm really enjoying this so far so I want to finish this up the next two are connected and that is T.H. White's The Once and Future King this is massive this is like weighs a ton um the font's pretty thick I have this beautiful hardback edition um so I'll probably be reading most of this at home um, one of my profs really really recommended this book um, and it was one of my favorite profs so I decided to pick it up this summer and then the follow-up is another one that he recommended and that is H is for Hawk. Ow, I just hit myself in the head with the book by Helen McDonald. Um, the reason why I want to read these two is that they're actually there's a lot of intertextuality between the two works. Um, Helen McDonald, from what I understand of this, this is a memoir and she, Helen, the author lost her father and to deal with this she takes up falconry. She apparently refers to T.H. White's work a lot so I'm really curious to see how this plays out but I want to read T.H. White's work first. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to take to this. Uh, I haven't really read a lot of things about grief and this it's all very close to home. Um, if some of you don't know I actually lost my father when I was 17. Um, so I'm really curious to read this and see how grief plays out and see if I can recommend this for people um, who have lost a parent. So I will, that's basically what I'm going to be reading for the month. I feel like T.H. White's The Once and Future King is massive enough that it basically is a TBR in and of itself, but you know, that's how I like to roll and hopefully by switching up the genre, by reading some nonfiction, by reading a memoir and reading some fantasy, um, I'll get out of my reading slump and I can get back to my beloved classics. I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.